Hey up everyone, welcome back to the Rugby League History Channel. Today on the channel I'll be doing my tips for round 17 of the 2024 NRL season. Last week I got 3 out of 5 correct. This round is also another origin affected round as the State of Origin game is on tomorrow and a lot of players will either back up or they won't back up. But let's get started with the first match which starts on Friday night. And the match on Friday is Canary Bankstown against Cronulla Sutherland. This match is being played at Stadium Australia. Cronulla have a good record against Canterbury in recent times. They've won eight of the last ten matches. And Cronulla defeated Canterbury earlier in the year quite convincingly at Shark Park. With Canterbury, they're the only team left in the competition that haven't lost a home match this year. And they have one of the best defensive records in the competition. Cronulla are pretty much full strength for this match with Canterbury Stephen Crichton might play. He's been named on the reserves. I tell you, this is a really tough game to call um, because Canterbury is a much different team this year. Cronulla's obviously doing well this year. Um, I mean, it's really a flip of the coin, isn't it? But for this match, I'm going to go for Cronulla to win. I'm going to go for the away team. I think it's going to be a really tight game. I think Cronulla will win 1-12 points. The first match on the Saturday is between New Zealand and Brisbane. This one's being played at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland. In the last 10 meetings between these two sides, both teams have won five matches each. Brisbane's record at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland is all right. Since 1995, they've won 11 times, lost 12 times there and had the one draw. This is an origin affected game for Brisbane because Reese Walsh, PNS and Patrick Carrigan have all been named on the reserves list, but I highly doubt that they would play. As for New Zealand, um, Sean Johnson's been ruled out for a month. Last time out against the Gold Coast, they suffered their equal worst ever loss as a club. And just a side note, it was the Gold Coast's biggest ever victory as the Titans moniker, and also their biggest ever win of any Gold Coast team that's played in the New South Wales Rugby League slash NRL competitions since the first uh, Gold Coast incarnation come in in 1988. Now, like the other game that I mentioned before, this is a really hard game to call because historically in the NRL, when a team gets battered one week, they come out the next week and they're almost the complete opposite. And New Zealand were absolutely embarrassed at the Gold Coast there. With Brisbane, they're in a rut as well. They've lost a couple of games. They haven't been themselves in the last few weeks. Now, if Reese Walsh, Payne and Patrick Carrigan were named for this match, I'd be leaning more towards Brisbane. But I think with them three out, I'm leaning more towards New Zealand. As I said earlier, teams that normally get battled one week come out the next week. Totally different team, much better. So I will go for New Zealand to win with not that much confidence but I'll go for them to win by 1 to 12 points in a very good match there on the Saturday. The second match on Super Saturday is between Newcastle and Parramatta. This one's being played at Marathon Stadium in Newcastle. Parramatta have won their last five matches against Newcastle in the league and Newcastle have lost their last three matches in a row in the NRL. Both teams come into this match off the bye. For Parra, Matt Arthur makes his first great debut. This is a player that I've heard a lot about. Um, the other week he was the vice captain for the under 19 New South Wales team and apparently he's been doing really well in the New South Wales Cup this year. And another player that's been recording the team after impressing in the New South Wales Cup is Matt Dury. At the moment Parramatta are last on the table, not dead last but they're equal last with Gold Coast and West Tigers, however they have a bet at for and against. It's a, a nightmare scenario because over the weekend, what could have uh, gone wrong did go wrong. So not only did South Sydney win, but then New Zealand um, were thrashed by the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast fixed up their four against there. And West Tigers also recorded a massive victory as well, which put Parramatta last on the table. This next month for Parramatta is huge for the club and will determine where they finish, I believe. Because after the Newcastle game, if they can get a win, they play the Gold Coast, South Sydney and they have a bye. And their run over the next month is a lot kinder than the West Tigers run in the next month. 
But on the power map, the pages I've seen, a lot of the fan base, I'd say about 60-70%, have already wrote the, the team off and said, oh, well, another wooden spoon. Looks like we're going to come last. Oh, well, let's just give up, pack it in, and focus on next year. And I think comments like that are fucking disgraceful. The club are equal last with West Tigers in the goal course. They're not six to eight points adrift of them two clubs. So people that see that online, that's just a, a weak loser mentality. They're disgraceful comments and people like that, well, I'd hate to play in the same team as them. For this match, if I were a neutral, I would probably head with Newcastle because it's at home and uh, Newcastle are generally pretty good at home and their last two matches, even though they've lost, they've been competitive. But I believe in Parramatta still. I think that Parramatta can get a result here. So I'll go for Parramatta to win by 1 or 12 points. If they lose, it's not the end of the world still, but a win would be absolutely vital right now. The third match on Super Saturday is between Melbourne and Canberra. This one's being played at Amy Park in Melbourne. Now in recent times, Canberra's been a bit of a bogey side for Melbourne. And I believe that they're one of the only teams that's beaten Melbourne twice in a row down there at Amy Park. So they do have that going for them. However, Canberra's had two disappointing losses against North Queensland at home and then they got battered by West Tigers away, which I still can't believe. Uh, with Melbourne, they're currently sat top of the table. I believe that their state of origin players will back up. For me, even though Canberra, as I mentioned, have been a bit of a bogey team for Melbourne, I think this one's pretty much cut and dry. I think Melbourne will win. Some people have been seeing 13 plus, but I'm going to go for Melbourne to win 1 to 12. So Melbourne to win by 1 to 12. The first match on the Sunday is between St George and Redcliffe. This one's being played at Cogra Oval. This will be Redcliffe's first ever match at Cogra Oval. With these two sides, they met earlier in the year and Redcliffe defeated St George 38 0. With both of these two teams, they're going to have their origin players back. It's going to be a really interesting clash because St George have been a bit of a funny team this year. They've had some disappointing results, but they've also pulled off a few upsets. With Redcliffe, they've been, you could see, a consistent this year. They've been a good team. And uh, even with some of their players out, they've managed to get results. For this match, I'm confident in a Redcliffe victory. I will go for Redcliffe to win. By 1 to 12 points against St George. I think it'll be a tough match, but I think Redcliffe will get there in the end. The second match on Sunday is between Penrith and North Queensland. This one's being played at Penrith Stadium. This will be the last time that North Queensland play Penrith at Penrith Park or Penrith Stadium in its current formation. The next time they'll play them will be in a couple of years when the stadium's been redeveloped. Penrith have a dominant record over North Queensland in recent times and in two consecutive occasions they kept North Queensland scoreless when they travelled out to Western Sydney. Both of these two sides should have their origin players backing up on the Sunday. Uh, for this game, like the Melbourne and Canberra game, for myself personally, I think this one's pretty much cut and dry. I can't tip against Penrith the way that they play, especially when they have injuries or during origin period, they still back up. So I'll go for Penrith to win by, I'll go for them to win 13 plus. So I'll go Penrith to win 13 plus on Sunday. And the final game to close out the round on the Sunday is Sydney Roosters against West Tigers. This one's being played at the new Sydney Football Stadium. The head to heads, it's in heavy favor of Eastern Suburbs. They've played 38 matches against West Tigers. They've won 29 of those and they've only had nine losses. Sydney Roosters have won their last seven matches against West Tigers. The last time West beat them was on the 10th of March, 2018. And uh, in amongst them seven games that East have won, they've posted some big scores against West Tigers, including a 72 points to six victory. Uh, with West Tigers, they've won two matches in a row, which I didn't expect. They've done it. And the last time that West Tigers won three matches in a row was in early 2018. So they don't win more than two games in a row very often. Let's just put it that way. For this match, East should have their State of Origin players back for this one. This is going to be a tricky game, I think, because uh, West Tigers, the last two weeks, 
they've been playing a bit better. I think East have to be on their guard. But I will go for Sydney Roosters to win by 1 to 12 points. Hopefully it's 13 plus. I'm hoping East can get a big win. But I will go for them to win by 1 to 12 points on the Sunday. So there are my tips around 17 of the 2024 NRL season. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks to everyone that tuned in for the video last week, making it once again one of the most watched NRL tipping videos on YouTube. And thanks to everyone that's recently subscribed to the channel. It's growing at a rapid rate. But anyways, this has been Rugby League History, and I'll catch us all later in the next video. All right, tatty bye for now.